government knows and does not know about aliens and UFOs. Of course, the official position is that they don't exist, but now there are new claims from a very unlikely source, a group of Air Force vets. They say they have seen UFOs over military bases and that the visitors came with a message. being visited by beings from another world. These veterans admit those claims might seem out of this world, but they have seen the proof. A white pulsating light in the sky. Dark metallic in appearance with strange markings. At Monday's news conference in Washington, each of the seven retired Air Force nuclear missile officers shared declassified information, documents that describe flying disks, flying saucers, balls of fire. The same type Robert Sala saw when he was based at Montana's Maelstrom Air Base in 1967. An object, uh, a red glowing object hovering just above our front gate. But they say there was more to these visits, that the UFOs somehow tampered with the nuclear missiles. A fully illuminated round object was hovering silently over the missile silo and shining a light down onto it. Moments later, he said the missiles were deactivated. The veterans described incidents from the 60s and 70s, but they have evidence of encounters at missile facilities as recent as 2003. See the saucer man's high frequency disintegrator. They say the alien deactivation of nuclear weapons is a message to the human race. At this point in time, I'm a debunker. One man who doesn't buy it, the Air and Space Museum's chief curator. I always probe pretty hard. What kinds of evidence do you have to support this? I have yet to see any. The veterans say they know what they saw and want the government to come clean. They want them to release 60 years worth of files they think proves the existence of E.T.